WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 408, NASDAQ up 231, S&P's up 63. You got the bid, folks, in a big way here. Uh, gold. Gold up $14, trading at 1845. You get silver up 70 cents, $21.72 an ounce. The light sweet crude up 79 at 83.10. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 15 ticks, trading 106.26. The 30 year down 30 ticks at 110.15. And King Dollar. King Dollar. This is the first time that we've been down three days in a row after being up, to, down 281 since July 14th, that is. Uh, 106.054, the euro's at 105, the yen's at 149, the British pound is at 122 to one US dollar. Now let me show you the dollar first, because the dollar's gonna need one more day of this. I thought one good day of this would break the trend, but it's not. You can see it's right on the line now, okay? Because when you attach, for I get five days attached, which is a which is a good attachment. It's actually six days. So you can see what's happening here though, in a monster way. Now, check out the market though. This is a monster sign of strength. If we take a look at the spy, bottom line, you already have uh, 78 million shares traded. You're up 590. This baby's going. The Qs are leading the charge. You take a look at the the Qs. What you have inside the Qs? Look at that volume inside the Qs, man. Qs 58 million. So the Qs, they've already broken the downtrend. From, we're at, uh, what, 365? That's already broken the downtrend from 378. And now, here's the kicker. Notes and bonds. Do you know, if you remember, folks, okay, when interest rates were at zero, right, the market itself, okay, basically the 10-year and the 30-year, start moving down in price, higher in yield before the Fed moved. My take on this, the exact same thing's gonna happen here. You know, you hear everyone out there that the rates are going up again. You know, this is about as devious as you get. Well, guess what? The market's gonna start moving these. We had a test of the lows out here today on the 10 as well as the 30. That's saying we are off. And this is gonna get really intriguing, man, because the market you know, it's like who's wagging the tail? That's the bottom line. And it's the market. The market is always, you know, bottom line. The market forces the the market forced the Fed's hands on the on the way down, on the way up on yields, and now it's gonna just be the opposite. When we take a look at gold, gold that's the fourth time we've rejected lower price out here with uh, 1845. Stay right there, folks, come right back. <laughs> 